Nova Scotia healthcare leaders presenting a united front. My message uh, to, to all the leaders here today was just go like hell. This is not a us, we, they problem. It's an our problem. It's your problem. It's Nova Scotians' problem. Unions, professional associations, schools and government spent the day in talks, working to fix a system that's in crisis. So I heard a, you know, a resounding commitment around the table across all partners. If there's a hurdle that was in your way, let's talk about it. This after a week of horrifying health care stories. 37-year-old Allison Holtoff and 67-year-old Charlene Snow. Both died after going to rural emergency rooms and not receiving care quickly enough. She said, I'm, I feel like I'm dying, they're going to let me die here, and, and I just told her, like, no, that's why I got you in the hospital. I struggle with the fact that she went in for emergency care and didn't receive it. At the emergency room where Snow waited for hours, 80% of licensed practical nurses' jobs are vacant. It's part of a debilitating shortage. Not a new problem and not an easy one to fix. The crisis that we're seeing and now hearing about anecdotally is really the symptom of problems that have existed in the healthcare system for years. And none of this should be new. I think this is uh, because some of the negative stories that have been coming out lately. We see a premier um, uh, call a summit and then invite the media here and of course it's short on details. The Premier says there's a plan, but didn't elaborate. We know that uh, coming out of that, the, the, the conversation was good, but we know that com coming out of that there needs to be some action and everyone's on that page. The province is promising more details tomorrow as the Premier moves to rebuild the public's trust in a health care system he campaigned on fixing. Kate McKenna, CBC News, Halifax.